Virgo, welcome to your second week of August weekly love reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. I want to let you know that I will be doing something a little bit different with the channel. I will be offering weekly singles readings the same way that I do love readings on the weekend. Singles readings will be available midweek for those of you who are single and would like some insight into your personal situation, not your personal situation, because again, these are generals, but if you'd like to get a better picture of what's going on and what can what you can expect, go ahead and tune in midweek to my channel for the singles readings. All right, getting right into your reading, we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. So there's some type of a passionate new beginning that's not getting off the ground. It's not getting an opportunity to grow and come to fruition. Getting right into your reading, we have the Seven of Cups. This is someone that is being dishonest and that has illusions. This is someone that's wearing a mask. They're not being who they truly are. They're masquerading and they're keeping secrets, but these secrets came out already. So you know about this. We've got the King of Wands. King of Wands in reverse is a chameleon. Like I said, he's someone that wears a mask. Someone that changes and becomes someone different every day. They're inconsistent. They had secrets that they were holding on to, and their, uh, these secrets came out. I still feel like there's some more secrets, but I, I, I will go ahead and get um, into the reading, and you'll see why. This is just what my intuition is telling me. Ace of Cups, again, illusions. So someone's not being their true self. Um, Nine of Cups is here. So I want to clarify the Nine of Cups, because this represents happiness or a wish fulfilled, clarifying that is a magician. This is a brand new start. This is you feeling like um, you are able to manifest a brand new start. And here's a new love offer. So you've got new love coming in. And I feel like some of you are going to rush ahead hastily or you're, you're going to rush ahead and you're going to be happy about this new start that you are offering and that you're manifesting. You're going full speed ahead into it. Okay, Seven of Pentacles is here. So this is you deciding, do I stay or do I go in this relationship? Do I continue to invest? And when I clarified it, I got the same card. So this is really heavy in the cards. You're really pondering whether or not you should stay and invest more in this relationship or if you'd be better off going. But I think in the, in the end, you decide you're going to rush ahead with this new thing. So we've got the Six of Cups here in reverse. This is someone that is stuck in the past mentally. This is someone that constantly brings up past situations and an argument or someone's shortcomings that happened in the past. Whatever record replays, or this is just you in your mind. You're constantly replaying the past. Um... Yeah, past situations, I feel like you have a lot of guilt towards the past as well. And this could also represent someone from the past. So I feel like some of you have someone, an ex, on your mind. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the Six of Cups. See if we can get some more answers about it. Okay. I didn't even have to shuffle long. There was a three-party situation, and someone dropped the ball. And it had to do with someone from the past. So the person from the past was part of this three-party situation. And uh, there's a lot of, um, let's see, this card in reverse represents a lack of reciprocity. You feel like you're giving more. Or this could be your partner feeling like they're giving more in the relationship than you are. A lot of pentacles. So Virgo, your energy is coming out very strong. Or you could be dealing with a Taurus or Capricorn. But someone is thinking about someone in the past, from the past, and dwelling on the past as well. Four of Wands is here, so you're going to decide to leave this situation, and it's going to cause your current home life to be turned upside down. Yeah, you're going to cut someone out. Page of Swords in reverse has to do with, um, in the upright, it has to do with a message, a truthful message coming out. But in the reverse, this is gossip. 
And this is um, someone spying on you. A bit jealousy too. But yeah, someone is spying on you. Let me pull one more clarifier for this Four of Wands in reverse. I feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with these wands here. Yeah, some of you are bored in the relationship. You don't want to accept this new offer. I feel like someone is going to come back and apologize and try to make it work again to get things back off the ground. But I'm seeing that that is not going to happen. Someone is just done. And I've seen this card come up in other readings. And um, I've said that this is God giving you an opportunity to do something different. Because I feel like a lot of you have this systematic way of doing things. And it's not benefiting you. And God is saying, just try something different. Try a new approach. Try... Um, Letting go of the past. Try looking at things differently. Like the opportunity, God is giving you an opportunity to grow. And renew your mind and renew your thinking. Because I feel like a lot of you are stuck in old ways. And God is saying it's time to change. Okay. Moving on from that, we have the Three of Cups in reverse. So there was definitely a three-party situation and it came to light. So I feel like all three parties know about each other. And I, again, say three-party situation because two of pentacles I pulled earlier, but it's still here in the reading. So this is coming off very strong. But yeah, someone dropped the ball. Okay, so three-party situation was found out about. Someone in your situation is feeling paranoid. They feel like they need to watch you and build walls around themselves. But someone is really holding on tightly and not wanting to let go of the relationship. Could have something to do with a Sagittarius. And here is the devil. Ah, makes me heavy hearted when I see this card come out in readings. The devil could represent a lot of things. This could represent someone that's possessive. This could represent you feeling tied to this um, toxic situation. There could be addictions, um, obsessiveness, like a fatal attraction type of thing. And I feel like this is a type of situation that you you haven't been able to get yourself unglued from. I want to show you this card. I want to focus in on it because I want you to see the image. Okay, so there are chains around these two lovers' necks. Okay, so keep in mind, the lovers, this is this card, we've got this card. These are the people in this card. These people on this card are depicted here. But they've got chains around their neck. But take a look at the chains. They're loose enough for you to take the chain from around your neck. You're not bound here, truthfully. You just feel like you are, but you're not bound. You can release yourself from this toxic situation. Some of you could just simply be dealing with a Capricorn. And this could also, this card could also speak to addictions. It could speak to addictions to chemical substances and alcohol. It could, it could um, also deal with like sexual addictions and promiscuity. But yeah, some of you are really feeling paranoid in your situation because you found out about this three-party situation. I feel like you're fear some of you are fearing having to let go. If this isn't you, then this is how your partner is feeling. They're fearing that an end is coming to the relationship. And one or both of you is just very toxic to the relationship. Okay, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is someone that offers... Um, Friends with benefits type of um, as a friends with benefits type of energy, very charming, um, very entertaining. But this isn't someone that is in it for the long haul. This is not someone that is there to establish anything with you or to build with you. This is someone in in the situation for what they can gain from it, and they feel like they can get a sex from this situation. So, someone in your situation is giving off that vibe. 
they're coming off as this energy. So I'm shuffling to clarify this Knight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like some of you are really stuck in your head. A lot of anxiety, a lot of guilt. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like this could be a mom in your situation. Your, your children's mom, possibly. Queen of Pentacles in reverse is someone that can't be trusted. She is um, holding a pentacle. So this is strong earth energy, possibly, for, for some of you. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Or some of you are just feeling like your finances are being drained. You're not feeling financially stable. Because in the upright, Queen of Pentacles is uh, financial stability. Five of Swords is here. So some of you are ready to lay your swords down. You're ready to apologize. And there's some lies. With the Ace of Swords here. Someone's not being honest. Okay, so the, the Five of Swords is here. So some of you are ready to lay your swords down and apologize and come out of conflict. Some of you might have something to do with a Taurus. You might be dealing with a Taurus, but um, someone is tired of, of arguing in this, um, this relationship. Um... The Hierophant represents marriage or can represent long-term relationships or some type of um, home setting that has been going on for a while. And you're tired of, of arguing and you're ready to come out of conflict with this person. Page of Pentacles. So there's some type of a message about money, finances, that can't get through or that was turned down. Perhaps you had a job offer that came through and you decided to not go with that job offer. Or you just, once again, feeling financially unstable right now. This is this might be an unstable time for you. I'm getting strong pentacle energy. Yeah, Virgo, you're coming off very strong in this reading. Um, but I'm, I'm seeing that there's going to be another opportunity coming up for you regarding money and finances. Two of Cups is here. So this represents like a soulmate union or this represents a, a, um, a blessed union. So I feel like some of you have some type of union coming up. And I feel like a lot of you are looking to the past. And this person might have something to do with that. This union that's on the table. I feel like there's a new, there's something new coming in for you. And I strongly feel like it's connected to someone from the past. Okay. And so I wanted to clarify that Two of Cups and the world came here. So this situation that you're in right now is coming to a close to allow this new opportunity to come in. I feel like a lot of you are definitely stuck in your head about this. Um, I feel like there's a lot of guilt. And there's, um, you guys aren't getting a lot of sleep at night. You're really staying up thinking about this. And this card next to it, the Nine of Swords. So something is nearing an ending. I feel like your partner knows about it. They're, they're picking up on it. They, this is what your partner fears, that there is going to be an ending. So there's a lot of anxiety. But the positive about this card is that it's in the reverse. So it shows that healing is taking place. And I feel like this, this card could be guilt for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, yeah, but some of you are just really stuck in your head. And I feel like these thoughts are getting the best of you. Real fortune. So with this card having a 10 at the top, this represents an ending. And with it, with it being the wheel of fortune, there's nothing that anyone can do to stop it. This is like God putting his divine hand into the situation. Or the universe or whoever you believe as a higher power is putting this situation to a stop. Because this situation that you're involved in is toxic. And God wants to bless you with something brand new. Something beautiful. Because 
I want to give you a reality check. And I'm not trying to be mean, but I want to show you this is what you're holding on to. This is not something that is going to fulfill you, make you a better person. This is destroying you. So God wants to bless you and bring in something else, something new, something beautiful. But it's time for this thing. This thing, it's time for it to end. It's time for it to die because God has something better for you. And there's nothing that we can do to put our hands in it to try to stop it because it's done. It's over. Will Fortune. Let's go ahead and go. It's self-explanatory, but yeah. Some of you are avoiding making a decision, or this could mean that you've made a final decision about someone in this three-party situation. But no, it's in reverse. I feel like you're avoiding making a final decision. Or you feel like this situation doesn't have anything to offer anymore. I feel like you're realizing that you are your partner. And so you decide to turn your back and let it go. The Ace of Swords is next. This is someone in your situation is not being honest. This, this, this card represents lying. And with it being in the reverse, some lies have came out about a three-party situation because someone ultimately dropped the ball and they can't juggle anymore because everyone knows about each other. Okay, so someone's lying. Probably lying that they're going to leave. I think what, some of you have plans to leave. I think you have plans to go back to this X right here. You're not making those plans known. Or your partner is fearing this and confronting you about it and you're lying and saying, no, no, I'm not going to do that. But it's evident here. I feel like some of you are deciding to move and go back with someone from your past and I feel like this person lives at a distance. I feel like something was missing emotionally in this current relationship that you're in. I say missing because if we take a look here, we've got a cup missing right there. And cups represent emotions. So some of you are going back to someone from your past and you're going to continue to lie about it when your partner is confronting you. Queen of Swords in reverse. In the, in the upright, she's a truth seeker. She gets to the bottom of situations and she cuts out whatever is not necessary in her life. And she's still cutting out whatever is not necessary, but she's calling a spade a spade. Let me show you this. You're lying, and she's confronting you. And she's cutting you out. And she's calling you out for lying. So we, with this strong swords energy in this reading, so some of you, are defi you're definitely dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Some of you don't want to be a fool. I feel like if this isn't you, then this is your partner. Yeah, they know you're lying. And they don't want to be a fool in this situation anymore. So they cut you out. This is this could be the person from your past, or this could be your current situation. Where like saying, I'm done. I don't want to deal with you. I know you're lying. Okay, so here's this two of pentacles. Okay, so this whole, whole uh, slew of cards wanted to come out, so... I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. Two of Pentacles. So this is someone that was, was juggling more than one partner. But it's been found out about that this person was double dealing. This caused, this ended in betrayal. Someone is feeling um, betrayed and heartbroken. Someone was being very secretive. But uh, their secrets are going to be turned upside down. Secrets are being revealed. Some of you are work. Some of you would decide that you want to work on this situation, whether it's your current situation or this person from the past. Or some of you are just using work as an escapism to get away from uh, this toxic environment that you're in. And this situation, these, these secrets that came out, turn your current home situation upside down. There's a lot of fighting and bickering. Get, I'm getting it strong in the cards. Some of you decide to leave and move away. And I feel like you're moving at a distance because we've got the boat here. With the water. And you see the water rippling right here. There's a lot of emotion. So I feel like a lot of you are emotional about this move. 
you're not quite sure about how this is going to pan out, but you know this is something that you have to do. And with the swords in the boat, you're taking the, the swords with you. You're taking, you're taking these swords with you. So there's a lot of baggage that you have, that you're bringing along with you. Once again, Wheel of Fortune, there's an ending. And this is God putting his divine hand in the situation and saying, I'm bringing this to an end. I'm bringing this to an end because I want to bless you and give you something better. I want to give you a blessed union and take you away from this toxic situation. Some of you have marriage in the cards. Two of swords. Some of them, one of you has made a final decision. In the upright, this card represents ignoring someone, ignoring making a decision, but this is a final decision that has been made. And because this card represents twos with this sword here, or actually it only represents twos here because you're deciding, deciding between two paths. But this one, you've made a final decision. I still, I'm still going to pull two clarifiers for it. I'm getting strongly that some of you, either you or your partner, is not accepting this, this ending that's being orchestrated. But I'm saying acceptance is needed. I, I feel like some of you are not going with the ebb and flow of, this, of life. And you're resisting change. But in the end... You're going to be grateful that you did because you've got something blessed coming in for you. And this card it says impartiality, but I'm not looking so much at the word. I'm looking at the card where she's balancing these buckets. So I feel like balance is necessary in this situation because I feel like a lot of things are off balance. Um, emotionally, financially, even physically for some of you. God is urging you to let it go. Two of Swords, some of you have made a final decision to move forward, to move, make a physical move for some of you. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer, but yeah, some of you have decided, you made a final decision, you're going to leave. Um, but I feel like your partner may offer passion or, or a, a sex is a way to try to influence you not to go. But some of you are cutting this person out and you're going full speed ahead. With haste, I see. So there's a lot of haste. Either, uh, that, this, this, can, this scenario can go either way. I feel like this is in an argument. You hastily say whatever it is that's on the top of your head to cut the, the person. I feel like there's a lot of one-upping and a lot of egos. And some of you ultimately decide to cut this person out. Or you just hastily turn down their offer. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you are not feeling strong anymore. The Hermit card. This card represents the zodiac sign of Virgo. So Virgo, your energy is coming off very strong in this reading. Some of you have decided to isolate yourselves and you're really taking the time out to examine what it is that your life has been about because you recognize that there is a lot of toxicity in your current situation. So this lamp that this monk is holding represents enlightenment and knowledge. So you're taking some time out to isolate yourself to soak in this knowledge and, and figure out what you can do differently because I, I strongly am telling you that God is saying it is time to do things differently you've done things your way for the longest time but this has caused nothing but toxicity and I want to give you something better so I feel like knowledge is being downloaded into you from God and you're going to get so you're going to have a, a light bulb moment. Something is going to go off in your head where you realize something. 
Okay, Virgo. Queen of Cups. Some of you are not feeling very intuitive because Queen of Cups, she's very intuitive. She's almost psychic. Um, she's very nurturing and loving and emotionally stable. This represents a mother in your situation. For some of you, if it involves a mother, someone is emotionally unstable and not using their intuition. Or you feel like your intuition is off. Or your, yeah, your intuition is off. And some of you decide to give up. You're not standing your ground anymore. You're just giving up. Some of you have marriage coming in. Strong here. With the Two of Cups and the Hierophant. Hierophant represents marriage. Two of Cups represents marriage as well. A union. So I feel like it's time to let go of the old and let in the new. And there was some definite manipulation that was going on. I get it strong here. Seven of Cups. Manipulation. Magician in reverse. Manipulation. The devil. Manipulation. Some secrets came out about this person. Possibly a Pisces. I'm showing that you've got some financial opportunities coming in. So good for you, Virgo. I'm showing there was a lack of reciprocity in this relationship. One of you is holding on while the other one is letting go. You're feeling financially and emotionally drained from this situation. And you feel like you have nothing more to give. You have given all that you can to this relationship. You've invested so much. But it wasn't reciprocated. I feel like some of you depended on, on your partner financially. And they were doing the one. They, they were the one doing all the giving financially. Emperor in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, but this is someone that is very egotistical, um, abusive emotionally, possibly even physically for some of you. So be careful with this energy. Um, yeah, this isn't a good energy to get in a love reading. Some of you are feeling bound. But this is self-inflicted. You feel trapped. I urge you to take a look at this card again. Eight of Eight of Swords. So she's got a blindfold around her head and she's got these wraps trapping her. Her arms and trapping her from movement. But I want to let you know this is self-inflicted because she can take the blindfold off. It's loose enough. And she can take the wrap from around her. It's loose enough. So all of this, where you feel like you're stuck, I urge you to take a look at these chains again. These chains are loose enough. They can be removed by you. This blindfold and these ties that are binding you can be removed and you can easily maneuver around these swords. You're not trapped. This card could also represent someone being in jail, literally. But I don't get that vibe. I feel like this is someone mentally imprisoned and feeling trapped to a situation when you're truth, truly not. Again, that's why I, I can't say it enough. God is urging you to look at things differently, to take a new approach to things. Because the old you're, you're stuck in your old ways, some of you. And the old ways of thinking is causing you to feel self-imprisoned. Like you're, you feel stuck. But there's no reason to feel stuck. Remove this from around you and move forward. Queen of Pentacles. So your finances are going to be restored. You're going to feel emotionally stable again. You're going to feel grounded. You're going to feel financially grounded again. It's coming in. But this, this can also represent another mother for you. Like I feel like uh, there's a three-party situation. This could be someone juggling the mothers of their children. So I feel like some of you could be dealing with, um, you could be juggling the mothers of your children. Maybe you're stuck in a decision um, 
to stay or to go with the, with the mother. I, I, I'm just getting a strong motherly energy. Okay, but I feel like one of the mothers in the situation, because they were depending on you financially, they feel like they're going to, they're, they fear financial instability. But I feel like another person in the relationship, another woman in the relationship is financially stable. Not sure why that card came forward, but Nine of Pentacles. Um, yeah, some of you feel financially drained or there was, a, there was a leech. Someone leeching off of you. And some of you are avoiding making a head over heart decision to let this toxic situation go. Because I want to show you again. We've got lovers here in this card. And we've got them here as well. These are the same people depicted in the cards. But um, they're free in this card. They're bound in this card. They're, they're feeling stuck. This is really no different in the reverse. Except this card represents decisions. Making a decision to release this from your, situ from your life. Some of you are avoiding making that decision. Or some of you fear that this person, your partner, is going to let you go. Yeah, but you're feeling financially drained. And you're not going to accept this person's offer. But the beautiful thing is that there is a victory on the other side of the situation. You may not see it yet. But there is a victory because there's a beautiful love union that's on the way. And this is going to cause you to feel a lot of gratitude. This is something that's going to make you very happy and emotionally stable. And you feel optimistic about being able to manifest this new situation. And you're going to go ahead and make this offer. And you're going to go full speed ahead into it. Okay, so Virgo, that does it for your weekly love reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you found that this uh, message did not resonate with you, I encourage you to take a look at the videos for your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you'd like a reading that is tailored more to your personal situation, you can contact me for a personal reading at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com. And I would be more than happy to give you a personal reading. You can take a look at the description box below for the pricing. And uh, I want to thank all of you who have um, donated to my channel. Your donations keep the channel going, and they are much appreciated. Thank all. I thank all of you who have commented and subscribed. It is greatly appreciated. And if this did resonate with you, I would appreciate if you would hit the like button. All right, Virgo, I love you, and I hope the absolute best for you. And we will be... Um, I will be talking to you again very soon. For, for those of you who decide to let go of the situation, singles readings are available midweek. And you are more than welcome to visit me again next weekend for a forecast into your situation for the upcoming week. Or for the following week, I should say. I wish you all the absolute best. And until next time, bye for now.